Hi everyone, so welcome to another thrift store haul. If you did not see the shopping video for this thrift store haul, I will leave that link in the description below because I uploaded that earlier this week. But this is the haul portion of everything that I got from this thrift store visit. It's spread out between three different thrift stores and then one thrift store two separate days. So the same thrift store just the next day. So if you guys want to see what I got, just keep on watching. Okay guys, to get started, I'm going to show you everything in this big giant box here. This is the majority of, I believe, the toys that I got, slash some other things. There's some VHSs in here. Um, but yeah, there were a bunch of bags. This uh, thrift store was having a special buy one get one free. So basically anything that I bought for a specific price, the same exact pricing was free. So that's kind of like the easiest way to kind of go by. So I ended up getting four VHSs because they had, you know, buy one get one free. And I believe these are 25 cents each. And the original one that I saw that I really wanted to get was the Hello Kitty Santa's Missing Hat. And this is a Christmas one, but I mainly bought some of these VHSs to bring up camping with us because there's a VHS player up there and... I just thought it'd be kind of cool to watch some old classic cartoons. So then I also got the Tweety Bird and Friends. This is classic video library. And I've never seen a stamp like that on a VHS. And obviously this is very old. So I was excited to get this to just pop in and watch. Now there's this one which is I believe the Ariel's like TV show. So this is the Ariel's Undersea Adventures. And I loved the little TV show of Little Mermaid, so it was kind of cool to find this one. And then, just to kind of top it off, I found a Tailspin. And this is Volume 2, I believe. That's why the 2 is there. But, yeah, I got this one. So the boys would like to probably enjoy Tweety Bird in this, but not the Hello Kitty in the Little Mermaid. But, you know, they're not always up as long as me or, you know, doing the same thing as me when we're camping, so... Anyways, I did get lucky and I found some old toys, but at the same time they're missing things, so it's kind of like a bummer, but it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm happy with what I found, so I got two of these old McDonald's VHS toys. Now, I have some of these. I had these growing up. And I'm pretty sure I still have the boxes. Um, I remember having the boxes at least. Uh, whether or not they're still there, I, I don't know. So the Winnie the Pooh one. And I don't know if these ones came, like when it says Winnie the Pooh, if Winnie the Pooh only came with one figure or if other figures you could get. So this is Tigger and he has a little flocked belly. It's so cute. And again, um, so this was three. But it was buy one get one free, so I paid a dollar fifty each for these. And then this one has Woody in it. And three dollars is usually a little bit more than I'd like to pay for obviously a collectible or a McDonald's toy. I usually try to find them in bins. But you know, these were complete, they're harder to find, and hello, Toy Story 4 is coming out soon. I'm so excited. And Oh, this is a bag that I got for Steven. I'm pretty sure he won't be watching my video, but I try to find like some cute little knickknacks and things for him. So these will probably get gifted to him probably at Christmas uh, because why not, you know, Christmas shop all year. But it just has some old McDonald's toys. Um, I know this one's newer. I don't know about these ones, but this is like a Mario Kart 8, another Mario, and this is like a two-sided um, little... Uh, I don't know, maze game. And then there's also like another like bead thing in here. I don't really know what that is. But this bag was 50 cents. And again, keep in mind, the bag was 50 cents, but then I got another bag for 50 cents for free. Um, they're kind of all over the place. Like this one's a dollar. So in here there's another Pikachu, and I'm pretty sure I found him a Pikachu like this before. But then there's also a Snow White toy. There's a little Goofy here. It looks like Felix the Cat um, from the Jetsons. Here, is that a Pez dispenser of um, Stuart Little? I don't even know. 
Um, this looks like Cat Dog with a Taco Bell toy. Uh, this one was pretty exciting. This is a um, Rescuers Down Under, and this is a toy, and it's a thing that you look through. Um, I don't know if it's still like in good shape or not. We'll have to take it out and find out because these are all sealed. I say sealed, but they were like just stapled. Sorry, little Pikachu, I didn't mean to drop you. Uh, this Pikachu is from 2000, so this is an older, ouch, um, toy. Let's get, I don't even know what this is. This is like one of those re-donate things because I don't even know what it is. If you guys know what it is, you guys can let me know. Okay, so this is a McDonald's toy. You look through here and you turn it. Oh my gosh, it's in great shape, guys. I wonder if you guys would be able to see and hear yourself. Oh, you can! Okay, let's get you guys lined up good. So, you can see the little images inside. Like, see how good a shape that is? It's amazing. So that's really cool that you guys are able to see it too. Um, this has got 1989. Wow, for this to be in really good condition from 89, this is potentially older than me, guys. Potentially, maybe. Not much, but it could be. That's that's really cool. That was a really good find. But yeah, let's move on to the next bag. I'm getting excited about my toys that I haven't even, you know, gotten out yet. Now, this was a girly bag, obviously. So this was 50 cents. So again, I had a 50 center bag from that I got for Steven. So this one, just say this one was free. Um, looks like we've got some Hello Kitty toys. We've got some My Little Ponies. It looks like a couple different generations, actually. Um, we got one right here. So this is like a Gen... This might be a Gen 2 or Gen 3. I'm not really good with my generations. I just collect the ponies and I love to have them. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, really good stuff in this bag. Um, if you guys want to see more of my um, thrift store unbaggings... I was uploading those for a while. They weren't getting too much attention, but um, if you guys want to see thrift store unbaggings of these um, before I unbag them again, uh, let me know. Um, I don't even know if I got all those up, for being perfectly honest. My computer's been down for a while, so I'll have to check. <laughs> but then in this bag, this was a dollar, so this one, we already had a dollar bag, so this one was pretty much free. Uh, we got some Hello Kitties in here. It looks like majority Hello Kitties. We've got a um, Smurf in here. So random things, a half of a soccer ball. Um, these Hello, this one seems like it's a bobblehead, so that's kind of cool. And then the other one, this one's like an ornament. And well, no, these two are both kind of like ornaments. So yeah, we got three Hello Kitties, a little ring. <laughs> it looks like it came off like a donut or a cupcake. Or wait, maybe, maybe it's two rings, because the soccer ball's a ring, too. And then, um, a Smurf. Smurf feels just like hollow plastic. Okay, um, here's this bag. This bag was $3, and I know I have another $3 thing or something in here. So this has just got a bunch of, like, dollhouse accessories and pieces. Um, I'm probably not keeping all of these, but again, if you guys want to see an unbagging of this so you guys can see everything up close and better, just let me know. Um, but it just, like I said, has a bunch of, like, accessories and everything in it, and I want to incorporate this in some of my collection, um, shelves, because some of them look really, like, woodsies for, um, my, like, Tinkerbell shelf and stuff, so I'm constantly working and rearranging my shelves in my collection room. You guys know that because I bring you guys collection room updates. It's changing constantly. Okay, and this bag was a dollar fifty, and it looks like we have a plush in this one, so this one will definitely be getting opened, uh, so I can wash at least the plush. Um... And then maybe I'll keep the rest of it in here. But we have like a My Little Pony toy. It looks like a classic Mickey toy. We got some uh, Donald. We got um, Oliver and Company. But the main thing that I saw in here, there's a cutie card in here too, was this right here. This is a Sky Dancer base. Obviously the Sky Dancer is not here. I tried to find her in the store somewhere but was not able to find but um, this is what I was most excited about. I do have Sky Dancers, so 
If this doesn't have the original Sky Dancer, maybe I can track it down online. I don't really know. But I'm just glad to at least have the base because I have a Sky Dancer I could put in it and, you know, fling it off. It's not complete, but, you know, I'll take it. And I believe that these Sky Dancers, like whether it's a base or a dancer, they're actually really hard to find now. Or they're, they're con considered like rare items. And that just is so weird because, you know, I grew up with Sky Dancers and I play with them. I still have all mine, but yeah. Um, next I found, which I actually have more, but I don't know currently where they are. They're, you'll see them in the haul. But this had some classic um, Lion King uh, wrapping paper in here, and I thought this was really cool. Um, I actually have a Pocahontas shelf in my collection room, and I know that this isn't Pocahontas, but I kind of like the color scheme. It kind of goes with it. And I've been wanting to do something really cool for like the background of my shelves, whether I get like some of the decorative like shelf paper or something. But I saw this wrapping paper and I thought that would look really cute for a background on one of my shelves. Plus there's some other things in here like I can use um, some of the paper in here. But there's like a little cute little bears with a lot of colors. I mean I think it's a baby one. Um, but it was really cute. And then there's another little flowery one in here. So I thought that would be really cool to use as background on my shelves. Um, and then I found two wands, well wands, I say <laughs> wands, this one's not really a wand. So this is a little Tinkerbell one, and it still works, and it was a dollar, and so was this one, so it's basically, like I said, buy one, get one free. I think there used to be candy in this, or there is candy, candy fan, yeah, I don't know. But this one, oh, kind of got a little squished in here, but this one still works. The batteries aren't the greatest, but I got it more for, like, the figure of Rapunzel on the top with Pascal. I thought it was really cute. Her uh, lip is kind of, like, really messed up here. Like, it got a chunk taken out of it. I'll have to, like, file that down. So, these are the two things that I got for Bow and Get One Free. And then, this is something my mom got. Uh, this is a little Santa train. You just basically, you know, wind it up. And roly poly it goes. So this is her little toy. I thought it was really cute. Um, and then here is a Pooh's Christmas Day push and play. And I always love these push and plays. I might give this one to my sister, but I'm not 100% sure because it's Christmas and I love the little play ones. Oh. That's a. And not all of them are working, so we'll have to figure out if that's a battery thing or something else. But it's just, you know, a Christmas one. It's so cute. I love these things. Okay, and then I found this Care Bear uh, domino set. I'm pretty sure I had this in the video of me actually finding this. Um, but inside, obviously, there's Care Bear domino dominoes, which are really cute. The tin is in rough shape, like really rough shape, but the dominoes look pretty decent. Um, I believe that there's like a couple dominoes missing because it says 28 plastic dominoes. I think there was like 25 or 26. I'm not really sure, but I didn't really buy it necessarily to play dominoes. I got it for more of like the actual dominoes themselves, so... I got that and then this is kind of like something that I don't normally buy um, but this was a big Barbie um, trunk or storage uh, facility something um, this is two dollars and um, it has you know the little slots inside here so this is where you store your dolls and you got everything here so I mainly got this to like pack up some things or um, like if there's something that I don't necessarily want to display, I can put them all in this nice little tin for like a storage and it's totally pink and my style and it just would kind of go nice with my room if I ended up like just putting stuff in it and then like shoving it in a corner or like just on the floor. It'd be like a nice display piece. Uh, these I believe are the candle holders that we found. 
yeah, so this is one my mom is um, going to be keeping with the little, little boy and the girl on it. And then this is uh, one that she got because I buy one, get one free. And this is little butterflies on it, and she got this one for me. And, oh, there's a couple things left in this box. So here, this is a Lady and the Tramp Go Fetch game. And it looked really, really cool. I mean, the cards looked really cool. It's got, you know, obviously all the little characters on these. As I just totally took this box apart, not realizing it was actually ripped. <laughs> so, yeah, I got this little card game. And then the last thing in the box was this little shelf, which I am planning on painting, hands down. Um... And I just thought it was really cute. It's obviously, I'm going to take this piece off too. It's kind of yucky. But uh, this is not, it's, it's kind of like a big shelf, but like not very much shelf space. But I thought this would look really pretty, whether I put it in my collection room or my computer room to put some stuff, little knickknacks on. Um, I don't know if I have enough wall space for this in my collection room, but if I do, I'll hang it there. But I am going to paint this first. And it will look really pretty when it's done. I was I was very happy with this find. Okay, moving on to some of these bags. But this is a little bunny plush my mom purchased. Uh, it's just here so I can wash it. Because um, I wash all the plushies when we, ever we go to thrift stores. And then she got this little bunny, which I'm not going to probably wash since it has not been detagged. This is a Bun Bun from Hallmark. I wonder if it has a year on it. Hmm. There's no year on the tag. What about the butt tag? Well, I didn't see any type of year on this, but this is a Hallmark toy. I don't know. Um, it's got a little stampy on this. I don't even think Hallmark has stamps like this on their plushies anymore. I mean, that's just really weird. So, uh, there's that, and then she got, looks like, some towels, because this is totally, like, her style, because of the little, like, fancy ruffles and stuff in it. She, this is totally her style. So that is hers. I'm going to put that back in the box. And then, um, this little guy, I don't think I found him in my first, like, we ended up having to go back in the store for something. And then I ended up like finding these. So they're kind of, they stock the shelves all day. So this could have just not have been on the shelf. Um, this little guy is missing his tag. Like somebody cut it off, which is kind of sad. Um, basically, I don't have any information about it. It's just this really cute little unicorn. Um, going to be getting washed because he's a little dirty. And then here's a little elephant here. Uh, $2 and it says new. I don't understand how it's new. I don't even see, like, the original tag. Oh, this is a Precious Moments uh, elephant. Maybe that's why it said it's new, because it has this on there still. But I'm going to wash it. There's no, like, cardboard tag. And then my mom got this little kitty. Kind of got some crazy hair going on here, but we'll get them cleaned up. And then we also, like, again, we were in there, and I missed this when I was in there the first time when I purchased, made my first purchase, but this is literally a binder, and it's got a bunch, I mean a bunch of stickers. Like, this thing is packed full, and I, and I missed it the first time. There's, like, Christmas stickers, there's Halloween stickers, it looks like the majority of them are Christmas stickers, but, you know. I love stickers and this is just going to be perfect for any kind of sticker project or anything that I want to do. So yeah, that I was pretty excited about finding. And then my mom got this little puzzle which is, um, I, I don't know if all the pieces are here but we'll have to find out, but it's a really pretty image of the kitties and here we have another bag that I found and it's got these two little guys which were interesting I don't know anything about them but they're in here 
And then this looks like one of those old little stampy girls, but I'm sure it's not. And then a little like cupcake thing. And then we got three princesses in here. And then a little Hello Kitty. So that's that bag. This bag was a dollar. So yeah, that was everything in that bag. So we'll move on to this bag. So here is a little Sonic, little pouch figure. I don't even know if there's anything in here. I think there is. It's like a, oh no, it's just the tag. So it's just basically telling you that it's licensed. Polyester fiber, Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what that is telling us. So this was 50 cents. I basically got this for Steven. So this will be getting washed and going in a little bin of things that I buy him for Christmas. Uh, this is a little dog my mom picked out. She loves these little white dogs because um, she has a little white dog. And then she got this little uh, Barbie dog, which is a powered one, or it does something. Let's see. Well, he barks or does something. He's just currently, his batteries are very much not working. So we'll have to unscrew him, get those batteries out. And this is a 2006. There's little Barbie tags right there. So I'll have to get him cleaned up for my mom as well as I just bumped my tripod, sorry. Okay, so in this bag, I have a book. They really didn't, like, um, pack these in any order. It's just, like, there's things everywhere. And it kind of was cool. There was a little, like, ticket in here. I really don't know anything about this ticket. It just says, pictured rocks, regular cruise. Um, it's all still here, so I wonder if they actually used it. But I got a Rainbow Dash book. And then I found these American Eagle flip-flops. These were a dollar. Uh, these are for Steven. He has designer stuff. <laughs> uh, he'll never wear these, but in the rare occasion we do go to the beach or something, it'll be kind of nice for him to have some flip-flops. And for a dollar for American Eagle ones, that's not bad. And I also found one of these little guns. Uh, it doesn't have the topper on it, but you basically just load everything in here and you shoot it. I actually had guns like this, but I had the ones that you like twisted and the thing was on the bottom. And you twisted it and it was like, and it's like, cause it's like electronical and you, you shoot them that way. This is just like a, like a spring action type gun. So I got that. And here's another bag. Uh, this one was $3 and I'm pretty sure we already had a $3 bag. Looks like we got some little cute little figures here. There's a troll, a shaggy, a woody, a bell figure, a little shoe, I'm pretty sure that's a McDonald's toy. But uh, my Melody um, Adventure Time toy, um, most likely we'll get given to Turbo. Uh, Lost Boy, uh, so yeah, a lot of random stuff in there. Again, if you guys wanna see any of the bags unboxed or unbagged, um, I can do unbagging videos again for you. And then here we have a Hello Kitty, just very like cheaply little flimsy one. I don't even know where this came from. Um, yeah, it's not like a BB or anything. So there's that. And then my mom purchased these for me, but it's a little swan candle. Uh, this was a dollar fifty, but then there was another one here, and this one was like labeled for fifty cents. Yeah, 50 cents, and I'm pretty sure they are, just gave us these both for, I think, buy one, get one free for 50 cents, because it's not like it's used. They are both brand spanking new, so I don't understand why they did that. Oh, and this one has a little, this one's a little different color, the candle. This candle looks a little darker, so, yeah. I guess they are a little different, so, but not much. They, they very much look the same. <laughs> and 
Okay, so here this was a unboxed uh, or unbagged McDonald's toy. This is from the newer Powerpuff Girls though, but it was a Mojo Jojo and I love Powerpuff Girls. So I got that one. And then I found this which has a bunch of pallets of Spongebob and I'm probably going to give these to Turbo. Uh, I just thought it was really cute. Um, this is a dollar. Again, buy one get one free in here. If you guys are in here you want to tally everything up, tell me how much I actually paid with every 50 cents every 50 cent things free but I don't know how well I'm doing on showing you guys the prices but this one's just a little hello kitty here um 50 cents I'm gonna wash that one now I wonder how long we're into this video so far but my foot is asleep and I just heard it on the floor I had to spread my foot out it is asleep so I got these really cute shoes. These were three dollars. Um, they're just little flats. I don't know how old these are. Let's see, something girl, Madden girl. They were size nine, which is surprisingly. Um, these actually fit me perfect. I don't normally have a size nine foot, but I guess these maybe just be a little bit smaller. But these are basically brand new. Um, they haven't been. They haven't been used, so they are really cute on me. So those are really cute little dress summer shoes. Um, here we have a little uh, baby Care Bear. Um, I wonder if they have years on these. I don't really know. But if you guys know what year this is from, you guys can let me know. Oh, 2005. So that's a cute little Care Bear. It's gonna go in for its washing. Uh, I got this one for my sister. It's a Clifford, Clifford's friend, Clifford's puppy days. Uh, oh, is this supposed to actually be Clifford? Like what? No. Um, but my sister uh, is a big Dachshund fan. She has Dachshunds. So I got this one for her. And then here is a little uh, Mickey and he needs to be washed bad. Like even his eyes are like really yellowed. So he needs a good washing. Oh, and this I was pretty excited about. We got a flounder, and I'm pretty sure I don't have a flounder yet. But these are the McDonald's toys. I don't know what year these came out. Does it say? Um, no, not on here. It doesn't. But they came in little boxes, and um, they're just little ornaments for your tree. Really cute. I know I have Sebastian. I'm not sure if I have flounder, but... This one didn't have its box, which is okay. He's still really cute, um, and he is going to get washed. But that was a really exciting find because that's from, like, the 80s. No, the, not the 80s. <laughs> the 90s, my bad. And then I found some cute little old invitations. I found these ones, and I don't exactly know exactly how old these are because this one just didn't have a year on it. And again, with New Toy Story 4 merchandise and everything coming out, just the whole hype of the Toy Story, I had to pick this up. Um, and then I got some Strawberry Shortcake ones, which I'll probably end up putting like in a photo album for my sister, because she's a big Strawberry Shortcake fan. But again, I had to buy, well, I didn't have to, but to even it out, I had to buy one, get one free, and I could find a use for both of these, so why not? And this is something that my mom purchased, so that's hers. Our stuff just gets mixed together easily when we buy things. So I got my sister this little Winnie the Pooh paper. And this was 50 cents. These are from the Hallmark store. And then again, there was these little uh, pony ones that were really cute. That would be really adorable on some of my backgrounds for my collection. And then here, this looks like one that my mom got, I think. And it's a little puppy dog. Got a little hanger up here. And then I got this book. This is Watercolor Ponies. And, oh, here's a little hamster. I didn't really know anything about this because it didn't have a tag or anything. It reminded me of, like, a little Hamtaro. Um, but really dirty, going to get washed. And then I found this Ever After High one, the Sleepover Spell Celebration Party Planner. And this is, like, not even used. So I thought it was really cute. So I picked this one up and they raised the price actually at this store because normally everything was like 
Um, I think soft cover was 25 cents and hard cover was 50, but it was buy one get one free today, so it was basically the same price. But now soft cover are 50 cents and hard cover is a dollar. So this one was a really cute one. This is the three samurai cats. And here, picture this. This is something I got for Steven. It had a big Sonic on it. I don't understand why that had that, but it's like one of those. Did you know about this and this and this and this? So I got that one for Steven for a gift. And then I found this Pinocchio one. I thought it was really cute because it was actually like shaped like Pinocchio's head. And then I got this Oh Bother Someone's Messy. And I probably will give this one to my sister as well. Because, um, again, she's a, she's a Winnie the Pooh collector. And the last thing in this bag, I got, or these just have, well, one's got like a skull on it. I'm not keeping that one. Uh, but there's little happy birthday beads. And I actually got some of these. My mom, I think, got them for me for one of my birthdays to wear. And I have them, like, seen in my wine glasses for my wedding. And it looks really pretty inside the wine glass. But I always needed to go back and get another one because it didn't quite fill it up. And I wanted to have one kind of for like each side of my life, like for each wine glass. So I saw this there and I'm like, oh, that's perfect. You know, because this is even cheaper than what I would probably pay brand new over at the party store. So, yeah, lucky find there. Something that I did want to get at some point. Never really got around to it. And I found it. So let's get to our next bag. It's more of another box. <laughs> this, I think, has got basically the plushies that I purchased. Um, I think I got this one at this thrift store, but I thought it was really cute. Uh, like, it's not even, like, damaged or anything. Um, I don't know if anything used to be up here, but it doesn't really seem like it. But I thought it was just the cutest little thing with this little knight and the castle. Um, really cute little fantasy picture frame, and it'd be really cute to put, like... I don't know, picture of like me and then my little knight coming or something. But, um, or even just getting like a little princess, like some princess photo and like put it in here. I think that'd be really cute. Cause I do, I did have like, um, at my job, I did deck, like set myself or dress myself up as like Belle so I could do like one of those pictures. Um, I posted this on my Facebook page and they had it listed here. Or it says like MLP. And I was pretty sure this was not uh, My Little Pony at all. Uh, but it had this really cute little ring on here. And some of the old My Little Ponies I used to play with, like I had little tubby toys, I'd have like rings that were kind of similar to this. And I always put them on their back. And I just thought this was really cute. Um, it would match them really well when I get them back. But, uh, yeah. It's just a cute little fake pony. But it was still cute so I just decided to pick it up and I found a Disney store Pluto he does have his tail because I sometimes can't find his tail or his tail's missing it does say uh, Disney store right there and he's really cute <laughs> so yeah we'll wash him and this is one that my mom got it's got like a little squeaker uh, this is from, oh, this is actually like a actual store. It's Pets, Pets, <laughs> PetSmart toy. So my mom got this one for her doggy. And there's a sticker stuck in the fur. So this is going to go, oops, I just ripped the hair out. That's for my mom. So I'll just put it over there. Because it's going to go for the puppy. And then here is an old Mickey Mouse. Uh, this was labeled for $4, but again, I would have bought, gotten buy one, get one free. But this literally says Disneyland Walt Disney World. So I'm pretty sure this is an old plush that came from there. Um, it doesn't have a year on it, but you can just tell, obviously, by the look and everything that this is an older Mickey Mouse plush. So I was excited to have this. So that is going to go down for a wash as well. And here is the little one that my mom purchased. Uh, this was two dollars. Little snowman. Wash that for her. And then I believe is this one a Disney Store one too? Nope. This is uh, from Kohl's. So it's a little Dumbo from Kohl's. Okay. 
and then there's a little cute Hello Kitty with glasses. I think there used to be something here to hold them up, but it obviously broke off, so they just kind of fall down. So, uh, yeah, but it's still really cute. It's a T.Y. Beanie Baby. Um, doesn't have its tag, though, so going down for a wash. And this is a little baby toy, but it was a little Minnie Mouse, and it was really cute, so... I hope it washes good. I don't think I've ever washed anything like this before, so we'll see. And then here, there's a little Playtime. Oh, this is a Lisa Frank one. Um, okay, let's see if I can get this tag opened. Uh, I don't see a year on this one, so... Anyways, this is a little Lisa Frank Beanie Baby. I'm, I'm guessing this is pretty old because I don't even think I've seen this ever. So I'm going to wash that up and keep that one. And then here's a little um, uh, McDonald's T.Y. little kitty. Make sure I get all the things in here. And then I got this little unicorn. Um, don't think it's really got any label or anything. It's just a little little thing. And then this little bunny. And this is a big vase that my mom got, so that's hers. And then in here, she purchased um, these glasses, which I already have a full set of these, but this was a really good deal. Um, it was $2. They were both each $2. Um, this is the Typhoon Lagoon, and then this one is, I think Epcot. I'm pretty sure it's Epcot, but it doesn't really say. This one says Typhoon Lagoon right on it. And then it's like a 25 uh, year celebration. So th that would have, obviously would be Disney World. So she got those. So we'll just put these back in here for her. And then we're going to move on to our next thrift store because that was everything from our first thrift store, which I'm looking at my pile behind you guys, and it's actually kind of big, so. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay, so I have everything here from our next thrift store, which was Mel Trotter. Um, there's actually an extra thing in here that's not mine. My mom purchased a lamp for my grandparents because they are currently moving closer to us because you know they're getting old and they need to be taken care of but the thing that I have that's in the same bag is um, this right here and again it's another castle but it's so pretty like I don't know it's just so whimsical I saw it there when I was checking out and it just it looked so magical and pretty and I just I love this piece um, so I probably will put it on my entertainment center um, displayed but it was $3.99 so at this store we got 10% off because like if you sign up for emails or whatever you get 10% off but this was so pretty I love it and then this is the little lamp if you guys are interested in seeing that my mom purchased it was really pretty it's a little teapot and then with the flowers or tea kettle, it's not like necessarily, well I guess it's the same thing, but this was $7.99. There's a little light bulb in here too. And then it's got the little lampshade with it. And then in this bag, ooh, let's get these out. They weren't so bad. Like their their children's books were four for a dollar ninety nine, which is actually cheaper than they used to be. You used to pay like a dollar plus more for each book you would get at this store. So I got this Jungle Book one, and this is the twin books. Um, it's not. I don't think it's exactly the same as like the ones that I get, but um, it was still really cool. And it's a lot. It's a lot bigger, and it's in really great condition. I don't know, I just, I love old <laughs> Disney books. They just, I don't know, classic. Grew up with them. So cute. I don't know if there's a year even on this. 
but here is like the lineup of what is specifically in this series that you can get. Okay, and then I got this one, which is the robots, the movie storybook. Um, this was mainly a filler because you know the four for a dollar ninety nine. But this movie, I don't know. I really like this movie. I thought it was really cute when I first saw the previews. I wasn't like a huge fan, but it has a lot of adult humor in it. <laughs> I think it's like one of those that I'm like, I don't think this is necessarily appropriate for little kids, but you know, I thought it was really cute um, as an adult watching it. And then I did find one of the twin books, which is the series that I purchased. I don't know if I have this one. Um, I didn't have a picture of whether or not I had it or not when I was looking at this, but uh, for the price that you pay at the thrift store for these, it's kind of worth it to me to buy them. So I buy them if I see them at a thrift store. But if I find them somewhere else, like an antique mall or something, and they're obviously going to be priced higher, I will pick and choose which ones I get. Like if I don't have any of that book, I will purchase it. Um, but here, this is an Anastasia one. And I, I think I have an Anastasia one, but I'm not really sure. But I love this movie. It's, it's amazing. I heard like a rumor that... Disney purchased um, the studio that made this movie, so technically Anastasia now is a Disney princess. Um, but yeah, I I love this movie so much. I wish that I had the classic Anastasia music box toy, and I tried to find it for a reasonable pro reasonable price. I guess I'm just waiting for me to get lucky and find it in the thrift store. But there are a rare chance somebody posts it and it's super cheap, like original in the box because they don't really know. But most of the time that doesn't happen and I always miss out on it because I don't check all the time. So yeah, I really love this movie though. So I'm glad that I can at least collect the books. And then here, this is a really big Winnie the Pooh that I purchased for my sister for $4.99. This is like, oh, he's a big one. And I was like, yeah, he is. Hugs are the friendliest of things. <laughs> oh. Oh, a friend is good for hugging. I can't get him. Thank you. My fluffing stuff is happier now. Thank you for the bear hug. <laughs> big hearts deserve big hugs. That was a cozy sort of hug. No oh my. What a very nice hug. <laughs> You're as sweet as honey. <laughs> Will you be my forever friend? Hugs are the friendliest of things. Yeah, it's just, it's so cute. Which, and look at the, okay, you do, you can take his little thingy out here. So, it's so freaking cute. And I had to get that for my sister. She's like, oh, he's a big one. And I'm like, yeah, but you can always make room for more poos, especially talking ones. And then I also got, oh, he just talked on his own. Um, I also got her this Winnie the Pooh and Piglet little painting. This was $2.99. So she's going to get spoiled because I found a lot of stuff for her. Okay, let's see what's in here. Some of the stuff might be my mom's, but some of it is mine. So here is a Hello Kitty mug. Let's get this out. And here is a little Pooh. This is like a picture album. Uh, it's kind of got a little bented, but you can bend it back easily. So I think she would love this so much. So she's got that. I'm going to get quite the pile for you, sister. Hopefully you don't watch this video. And then I'm pretty sure my mom purchased this little container here. Just a little box, a little mirror. Uh, let's see if I can close it. There we go. And then, oh, my mom purchased this for me. Be really careful with this because it's super breakable. So here it's a little butterfly, little bell, glass bell. Really pretty. I will put that displayed in my house. 
with no problems. And then I purchased this, and I'm pretty sure this is like a Mickey Stamper thing, I think. Do I have a piece of paper? I do. I've got some newspaper. Let's put this in the newspaper and see what it does. Oh, I can drop it. Okay, newspaper is in. I didn't really do that very well, but yeah, it just it gives you like a little Mickey Mouse cutout. Let's try this again. Let's see if I can do that one. I keep doing that. I ripped it again. But yeah, little Mickeys. So that's really cute. I don't know when I'll use it or I'll ever use it. But that one chance I would be like, I should have gotten that Mickey stamper. I have a Mickey stamper now. And then in here, these were really pretty. I wasn't exactly a fan of like the little Indian ones up here because they look like they're missing their arms and they look kind of creepy. <laughs> but I really wanted these little China dolls. These are actual glass Chinese China dolls. And I thought they were really pretty and I wanted to get these. This bag was $6.99. So I'm excited to have these. They even have like little bells on them. So I like those a lot. And then in here I got a bag of balls. I got a bag of balls. <gasps> Ah, uh, that's funny. Uh, they were $2.19 and I, I just saw them because Steven likes to golf and um, I actually got some golf clubs from there uh, for me and Steven, uh, some drivers, but uh, I'm not going to show those because you guys are probably not interested, but I saw the balls and I was like, oh Steven, look, they have balls here, 12 or 2 19 and I don't know, I just like glanced in this bag and let's see if I can even find it now because me glancing in this bag, I don't even see it. So, let's see here. Looking for a ball. Where is it? What the heck? Give me a second. Okay, I found it. <laughs> this one right here. It has a little Mickey on it. I don't know where this one came from, but it was a little golfing Mickey. So, I uh, got this whole bag of balls specifically for that one ball. So, Steven has some golf balls now. <laughs> and then the last thing I purchased, I did purchase this little basket. Again, this was an impulse buy. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. It's missing one little um, pink little spoke thing. Uh, this was $4.19. Like I said, I got 10% off of it. But maybe I'll use it in my collection room or I'll use it in my computer room. I don't really know. Impulse buy right here. It was just really pretty and I always like say if I don't find a use for it I can always re-donate it. Um, the money that I you know always put into their stores they go for a good cause and helping out people so it's not like you're going to a regular store buying something brand new for 20 bucks and then never wear it and then donate it but um, yeah so I purchased this it was really pretty. Um, I got one more thing or a couple more things to show you from this thrift store visit and then we'll move on to the third thrift store. Okay, so a picture that I found was this one and it was really cute. It just said, Princess, hey if the crown fits. <laughs> so I thought it was really cute and I'll probably put this in my computer room because you know I'm a big kid and a really girly girl. And then my mom purchased this which is most likely going to stay at my house because that's what she does. But it's a castle cake making kit. Um, it's all white. You just basically have to put like fondant on it and stuff. But she got that. It's going to stay here at my house, I'm sure. So um, the next visit would be our third thrift store. And then I have um, a bucket from the first thrift store the next day. So this was all from one day. And then... Um, 
the next day at the one thrift store, the first one, I sh the first haul I showed you. Okay, this one was a kind of like a rushed thrift store visit because they were getting close to closing because thrift stores close a lot earlier than regular stores. And um, we started our thrift store excursion and then we ended up taking a break for a few hours because we had to go do other things. My mom had to do things, I had to do things. And then we quickly wanted to run to the last thrift store because I wanted to get you guys a nice video up of shopping because you guys love those so for a bag that I found there looks like there's some old Barbies in here Elastigirl, My Little Pony um, more, oh I actually had one of these from the other thrift store so yeah so um, another thrift store bag and then here is a Minnie Mouse uh, this is a Disney Store Minnie Mouse. I don't know when this one came out. This one's obviously been more played with. It's got a little girl's name on it. But it's really flat. So I don't know when this came out. Um, and then here's a Disney Store Pluto. And then here. This was really cute. I don't even really know what this is from. It's um, got little angel wings. It's just Angel Cat Sugar 2010. Uh, dandy collector's choice so really cute um, and then here I've been using a lot of these baskets for um, like my coffee table and stuff so because me and Steven always eat at our coffee table when we watch TV shows so I always have like sauces and everything in it but this one was a little smaller one it has little duckies on it it's really cute um, this one was a dollar 79 it's this pink metal and something tray uh, but this came from somebody's booth, I'm guessing from like one of the antique stores by us because it's got a number on it and everything and somebody paid $10 for this and it basically, or, or they had it at there and they didn't get rid of it so they just ended up donating it. But uh, yeah, this is for the front porch because I have a smaller little um, coffee table out there and I thought this would be really cute out there with the decor and the colors and everything. So that's what this is for. And this is, oops. Another little purchase I made for Steven is this right here, and this was 49 cents, but it's one of those like little um, key things you like, you know, push and you pull apart, so then you have two separate keychains. I feel like this would be really handy for Steven because he's always got um, separate keys all the time, taking them off because he's got, you know, multiple motorcycles, multiple cars multiple employment place keys so um, this will come in handy for him for sure and then I thought this little baby fork was really cute uh, I have kind of collection of like little metal spoons I've got um, I think like Snow White ones uh, Beauty and the Beast ones I just recently got um, some Nesquik ones for Christmas and I thought this one with the little teddy bear was really cute so I picked this up, it was 79 cents. And then I found this right here, which is Wendy's um, hearts. So like, you know, Casper meets Wendy. Uh, playing cards, I don't know how much they charge me. I don't know if they charge me $3.99 for it or not. I'll check my receipt. But these are just older cards. These are from, let's see here. I don't see a date, but I think this thrift store put this clear tape on here, which was like, why would you do that? So it's even, you know, like worse off because that tape is not coming off now. You know, it's like taking the finish off. So yeah, I'll just have to cut around the tape. And then I found some more Fitbit bands, which I actually got some sent to me from a friend that I met on Fortnite. And this one just had a bunch more. And I mainly got this because it had two of the clasps, like the actual good Fitbit clasp. Because I've gotten some of them from Five Below, and those clasps suck. So technically I only have one clasp, but... um. Yeah, so I got extra ones just in case if I need them. I don't. I think these bands are a little bit too big for me. They look like it because I have really tiny wrists. So 
yeah, and then I found these two little um, wands, and it doesn't even have a price on it, so I'll, again, oh, it does, 49 cents. So I, I'm a big fan of little, like, princess wands and stuff, if you guys don't already know that. I'm currently taking the tag off the ribbon here, but, uh, yeah, these were really cute, and you can just reform them, because this one's kind of, like, really bent and out of whack, but they're really cute, so I got these. And then here is a Hello Kitty headband uh, that was from a McDonald's Happy Meal. I don't even know how much I paid for this because, again, this doesn't have a price on it. And then the last bag was another thing I got for Steven. Um, there's a Wreck-It Ralph and then a couple Yoshis, which I'll probably give a Yoshi to Steven, or Turbo. And then there's uh, two different types of Luigi's in here. So that will be another toy or present for Steven for Christmas. And then for the last bag here, I found a couple McDonald's Furbies. And I have a bunch of these from when I was little. Um, there's a little name on that one. But uh, I don't think I had these ones. And these were 99 cents each. So I got those ones. I'm sure you guys have seen them in my collection video though. And then I showed this in my video, but I'll show you guys again if you didn't see that video. I found this Rapunzel sweater. This was, uh, I don't remember how much their clothing is now. I think it was like a dollar, dollar fifty or something. Um, I don't know where this was from. It's an extra, extra large. It says Disney. I don't know if it came from like Hot Topic or something, or maybe this is a Disney store, but usually when it's Disney store, it says Disney store inside. So this might just be from like a regular store. And then I found this cute little little pink crop top. The back has like a see-through back flowers. So this was really cute. And then the last thing that I found, which I don't even know if I'm going to actually wear it or not. But it was cute so I picked it up. It, I don't even know, ultra pink size medium. I don't know where this store is. But I thought it was really cute. I don't know how it's going to look on me because, you know, I haven't tried it on yet. But it looked really cute. So we'll try it. See how it looks. If not, it'll just get redonated. But otherwise, that's everything from that thrift store visit. But don't go away because there's still some more. Okay, we. this is the last bucket. Uh, oh wait, I got this from the Mel Trotter store, but I put it in here. Whoops. This is a thing I got from the Mel Trotter store. It's a, uh, let's see if I can lift my camera up. This is a butterfly little thing. I got that for the front porch as well. Whoopsies. I forgot to put it in here. But this is a little doll that my mom got. It's a Madeline um, doll. I don't know what year this is from. Doesn't have its like thing. This is kids, kids gifts. Um, yeah. So it still works. Uh, let's see if I can get her enough. Oop. Of course, she'd stop working right when I, you know, film this video. What the heck? There, that should be. Hi, I'm Madeline. <laughs> Let's sing a song together. And then she'll sing. Alouette, jante alouette, alouette, je te plumerai, je te plumerai la tête, je te plumerai la tête, et la tête, alouette, oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, really cute. Um, if anybody even knows who Madeline is. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then I got a couple pictures for my room, which this one was a ballerina. These are tin ones. These came from Target. They were $4, so I paid $2 each. So there's the ballet outfit, and then here is the ballet shoes. So I got those, and then I don't know if I'll keep this or what I'll do with it, but... I thought it was cute. I'll probably repaint it to something cute like my colors, like white and pink and purple and, you know, colors that I like. Uh, this was $2. Um, well, actually, no, it was the dollar because it was a back room item. Um, these ones were half off too, so yeah, $2 each. Um, yeah. 
Uh, this wasn't the buy one get one free anymore. It was just backroom items. So this one I actually paid 50 cents for. And I got it. It's a lunchbox. It's in rough shape. But I can clean it up. And I kind of wanted to get this more for like storing some toys in it. Um, cute little bucket for storage. And that really hurt. I hit this little metal bow on these slippers. Ouch. And then I'm pretty sure I put this in my uh, video too. Um, it might be for like the same, mixed in with the same day, but I just did that. But this is an Abercrombie & Fitch one size little um, sweater. It'd be so much better if I actually like did better filming for you guys and inserted me videoing with this on me. But, you know, you know. <laughs> and then... I found a Rainbow Dash, which wasn't there the day before. She was 75 cents. She needs to have some major cleanup. Um, yeah. That's Rainbow Dash. <laughs> and then this was a cute little plushie that I found that day. And it's a Lala Loopsie. And then this is like a Color Me Hello Kitty I found. And then... This little Fluttershy, because I love Fluttershy. She is so stinking cute. And then I got this bucket, which I got, but I don't think I'm going to keep anymore. So I'm probably going to give it to my mom. Um, I don't even know how much I paid for this. It wasn't labeled, but they just rang it up at a price for us. So I'll probably just give that to my mom. She'll probably find a use for it at my grandma's new house. Uh, I have one like this already for Samson's Toys and I was, my thought was to put it downstairs for Samson's Toys, but then I thought about it and I'm like, I kind of already have a bucket down there and I don't really need it, so she'll enjoy it, she'll use it, so yeah, that is everything that I got at the thrift store. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was a very long haul, but they normally are really long hauls for you guys, so as my timers right now, I'm in an hour and seven minutes, so I don't even think I'm going to be able to chop down seven minutes, so this is definitely over an hour video. So if you guys made it to the end, definitely tell me below in the comments that you guys made it to the end. <laughs> but if you want to check out any of my other social media, because I did post a few things at the thrift store on my Facebook page, my Facebook and my Instagram are down in the description for you guys to see. I also like to label everything that I got in this video in the description, so if you missed anything, it should be down there in the description to the best of my ability of describing it. Um, yeah, also my P.O. box is down below too if you guys want to check that out. If you guys want to send me any like cool little letters or anything. I love getting postcards. You guys send me the cutest postcards and I love them. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!